Hello everybody, this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily angelic message for March 19th, 2024. Uh, I am getting up the weekly, so I'm just recording these. Once that goes up, get over there and watch it. It's a long one, so make sure, you know, pop it on while you're doing some housework, doing your thing, because we have some important stuff that's breaking open that needs to be looked at. Now, if you want to get a personal reading with me, Lots is changing in my own personal life, okay? So I don't even know who all is going to be offered these readings in the next month or so. I don't know, okay? I don't know. If we're going to get there. But for now, angelsouls444.com for a standard reading. I'm still running ahead of schedule. Please keep in mind, last week, you know, as I was recording, I was saying I was running about 24 hours in advance, like our 24-hour turnaround, that may not be the case by the time you see it and by the time you sign up. So, like, for example, if you got in on the 13th, uh, that was a day that several people came in. Okay, so I'm still working through those. It just depends on who comes in. So, let's get this going. So, instead, we had that last week. The number's 12. Uh, this feels like because things are just going to be popping off. There is such... A rip in the fabric of the universe and something major is happening on a spiritual level and in order for us to be ready for that and to be able to handle that as that occurs we cannot be in our ego consciousness in the way that we're used to now the ego consciousness is about self-preservation it's about protecting you but again it can get damaged through you know behaviors like uh Certain behaviors that we do to ourselves or something that somebody else is doing to us or circumstances, stress, you know, these kinds of things that can get this sort of short circuiting. I think the slow and steady is saying, okay, don't be pushing ahead on things right now. There's more information to come. And even if we've got two eclipses, as I'm recording this, we have two eclipses coming up. Guess what's going to happen? Okay, like you're going to set something up and then it's going to need to shift and change. Slow and steady to me also means um, remember to enjoy every moment of your life. I'm sitting here, my home, I've been sick for a while. I'm better now, but still kind of a little exhausted. My home got messy. Oh man, it is amazing when you don't feel well <laughs> and there's not someone cleaning your house what can happen? Okay. Like even, <laughs> even one person, plus I got to go around disinfecting everything and doing all of that. Obviously I've got taxes that I'm taking care of, you know, the, the forms to take care of and make sure I'm compliant on all these things. You know, that that's, there's a lot of stuff going on. And yesterday when I wasn't still feeling well, I was exhausted. I started to stress because I wasn't getting up and taking care of these things. And then I, th I want to say it was about last night. I got this feeling that came over me and said, you know, this is all a part of this deceptive narrative that's out there. This deceptive narrative that keeps us swirling in the stress. So it keeps even cortisol levels in our body going, which then causes all these other symptoms, which makes us sickly, which makes, you see the pattern going on here? Or we get into a place of such harm, like emotional harm that we then don't open ourselves up to real love. So we accept the bad love partner who, uh, I won't even go down that road, like who isn't good to you or whatever, or we'll accept those friends that don't care about us. It might be frenemies, right? Or you go in a direction where you know, you're hoping that you're being taken seriously, but who knows, right? These things are occurring right now. And I, I feel like people are kind of tightening into those situations because they're so afraid. Like things are already kind of precarious and stressful. <coughs> Pardon me. So what happens then if they change? Are they going to change for the worse, right? Like, are they going to take a turn? Like, that's what people are afraid of. And when I say there's a rip in the fabric of the universe... That is caused by a lot of, they're calling them differentials. There's a lot of different things that have gone into that. Not all of it's good. Not all of it's good. But it will all be freeing when it's done. 
That's what we're coming into. So slow and steady. Find that the reason why I was talking about all yesterday, I really finally realized, you know, it's not worth taking my joy. It's not worth me being stressed over. If I have to do laundry, which I have to do laundry, um, <laughs> if I have to do laundry, um, can I take satisfaction in it's satisfying to get this clean? You know, it's satisfying to see how pretty this is going to look when I get it all organized, you know, that sort of thing. So embrace the joy. As hard as that might be, embrace the joy. Okay, we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.